Hi again guys and welcome to another speed build for Forza 6 and as always if you would like to get this tune fitted straight onto your car you can find it in the storefront using the keywords down below but this particular build is of course for the Bugatti EB110 a pretty awesome supercar I think some people love it some people don't like the looks as much Personally, I think it's a great looking car. Now, as far as the build, it's not quite as quick as it used to be, because you used to be able to put the Veyron Super Sport engine into this, and it used to be even quicker than the Veyron Super Sport, but now that's just not the case. Now, as far as the tune setup, I would recommend a final drive of 3.94, then individual gears of 2.88, 1.98, 1.48, 1.15, 0.92 and 0.7 then for the rest we've basically rounded everything off so there's plenty of room for variation if you personally have different preferences so we've got anti-roll on 30 and then 25 on the rear springs on 650 675 I would recommend lowering the rear ride height and raising the front on this particular build for the dampers, we've got 8.5 and 6.5, rear downforce as low as possible, and finally for the diff, I would recommend 100 on acceleration and 0 for deceleration and a center split of 74% to the rear. And as you can see, it is quick, but nowhere near as quick as it used to be. So, now let's take it out to the track, of course, to see if it can actually reach that quoted speed of 242 miles per hour. Now the funny thing about the EB110 is, as I said, some people really do love the car, myself included, but other people just don't seem to particularly care about it, and some people just flat out think that it's ugly, which I totally don't understand. I think it's a completely unique and really cool looking car, and in many ways it's actually similar to what would end up being the Veyron. It's got a quad turbo engine, all wheel drive, it's got the luxury factor that the Veyron would also come to have, it's also super exclusive and kind of oddball to some degree, which the Veyron kind of is. The Veyron isn't as oddball and out there as the EB110, but it is to some degree. Now, as far as Forza goes, as you can see, the top speed struggles a little bit more than some other supercars. It's not as amazing in a straight line. Off the line, it's pretty quick. Top end, not so much. And that's mainly due to the fact that it's just not allowed to have the kind of power that many of the other supercars do, mainly due to engine conversions. And that's a real shame, because the EB110, due to that, could easily tend to be a car which people don't use as much and it's already not a hugely popular choice anyway so it doesn't really need that kind of negative exposure overall though if you do use the car it's not necessarily a dominating supercar but it is quick nonetheless so if you decide to use this build for your EB110 obviously I hope you find it fun and competitive and if you'd like to keep up with other builds like this that we've already done and that we will do you could do that by subscribing or checking out the playlist at the end of this video. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.